what is happening alpha gang so many of you have been asking for me to make a video of the photo settings i use for the sony alpha 6000 so in this video i want to go quickly not to have a 20 minute video i want to go quickly through the settings that are the most important ones um, that i personally use and the things that i don't change that are there for default i'm not going to even mention them i'm going to quickly run through them are you guys ready yes you are let's go so first of all make sure that you are in any of the uh, photography modes like msa or p as those are the ones regarding the photography all right let's start with the first section and that is actually the one of the most important ones um, the aspect ratio for me is three uh, against two because that simply uh, allows you to capture the most data if you select 16 against nine uh, then you are simply um, cropping the image uh, the quality really depends on your skill level if you're just starting out uh, go ahead with fine which gives you the best quality for uh, jpegs and of course if you are getting more advanced you can switch to RAW and JPEG or completely on RAW um, and you can also check out the other video where I explain this what are the differences between these two uh, the file format I'm not going to touch because it's regarding the video and recording settings also not however the drive mode is very important uh, here you can select different modes for example the single shot uh, continuous shot with a low repeatability or the high one and this is also the self timer of two seconds and you can also have it with 10 seconds and here you have the cell timer continuous which actually will give you several min uh, images in a time interval moving on focus mode is another very important topic um, here you have a selection from manual focus single shot out of focus automatic uh, out of focus or continuous out of focus actually most of the time i either am on continuous out of focus and that allows me to track the object and and shoot many times or i have the single shot out of focus for more controlled shots but in in most of the scenarios i go with continuous out of focus moving on to the third section focus area most of the times i shoot wide it allows the camera to focus on any area in in the screen however if you are particularly want to focus on some part for example on the left side of the screen or only on the right side of the screen then i would uh, select zone uh, or you can uh, sometimes i personally i don't use center that much but i use flexible spot and you have three sizes small medium and large if i use the flexible spot i use the small one and then i can really pinpoint if there is something that i really want to focus on and focusing exactly where i want but as i said most of the times i go with wide and number four iso well this really depends on the situation the lower the iso the better the quality but sometimes you do need to increase the iso because the image is too dark and you simply cannot uh, you know get it lighter with your lens or with the shutter speed rule of thumb keep it as low as possible when possible when it's not possible this should be your last resort on increasing the um, brightness of your image metering mode i also also have it on multi um, there are different ones like the center or spot spot is very specific so i don't use it it will re literally take the um, the light how bright the image should be on that one spot but multi is something that takes the whole image um, the whole scene into perspective so um, that usually will work in most of the cases white balance I think the camera, the Sony a6000 does a really good job regarding the white balance, so I typically uh, use, use the automatic white balance, however if I feel like I don't want the changing environment and I want to edit all of the images in, uh, uh, you know, using a certain scene and color, then I will choose uh, either, you know, daylight if it's really sunny day or if I'm in a shade or in cloudy day. I will choose one of those most of the times i use auto white balance and let the camera do its job d range uh, so this is dynamic range i have it set to auto i don't feel too much of a difference by changing them so i don't pay too much uh, attention to that 
uh, picture profile I have off. However, the creative style for me is the biggest thing which I change and uh, a lot of you have been commenting and asking how do I achieve uh, specific shots. So for me, I'm choosing the, the custom one and from the image style, I have chosen the, the neutral and I have reduced the contrast to minus two saturation also minus two and the sharpness is minus three so and the reason why i have chosen these settings is because it allows me to capture the most dynamic range uh, i can retrieve the highlights and shadows later in post-production however this works the best if you are using raw image format and if you are using jpeg and you don't feel comfortable if you're using raw then just simply select the standard, which is this one with all the contrast, sharpness and saturation that zeros and you'll be good to go. Moving on, picture effect off, as I said. And one more thing on this section, smile face detection is definitely on because it allows the camera to focus on the human face much easier. And that's a huge advantage of the Sony camera. Soft skin effect, oh, definitely off color space srgb and none of the other things i would change so here the the zebras and manual focus assist is very much um, you know based on your preference that's nothing really to do with the settings however the grid lines i would set to rule of thirds because um, the, grid, the grid lines are the things here as you can see on the screen because that allows you to uh, make the composition much better and it will just make your uh, life a little bit easier as a photographer um, and then peaking um, level and color I set to high and I would probably use something like red and uh, when I'm focusing on something it will allow me to see uh, where I'm actually focusing but this this works on manual focus pre auto focus this is a, a controversial one uh, you can have it um, as on or off it just simply uh, the camera starts focusing you know without you pressing any of the the buttons this one is also a preference either you like to look through the uh, viewfinder or through the monitor i personally use monitor all the time so i have disabled the fact that when i cover the viewfinder uh, then it doesn't turn off so here i select uh, monitor and uh, number four nothing there i would change nothing here I would change and on number six again these are preferences for you um, there are custom custom buttons available right here and on top as well uh, two for this model and you can customize them uh, for different things for example you can set the focus mode or um, drive or whatever it, you feel like any other things I don't think are worth mentioning because they are not really related with photography itself but rather the camera setup uh, like the monitor brightness and and how you see your your screen in tiles and, st and and if you have the audio signals and all of these things are um, secondary i would say and also one thing to mention you can actually uh, when you press this fn button you can um, specify what kind of quick settings you want here so maybe that's also for you something for you to look into um, if, if, you, if you want to have something more useful than I have I currently have the drive mode the focus mode focus area and the white balance basically these four are the ones that I use the most and then the exposure compensation sometimes if I don't like how my camera is doing a job I would go with the exposure compensation and that's about it I don't change any other things the rest of the things for example the ISO I access from here actually the, the dry mode I also access from here and then I have the C1 button and with that I have the focus area so not always I use the function button well I really hope you have some clarity now on the settings that I use and you can use them as well for video settings please remember that I have another video I'm linking it right up here so check it out and and see what are the settings for you to use for video and also all the export settings I also have a lot of other A6000 videos, so if you haven't checked them already, please do check them in my channel. I very much thank you for your attention and for being here. I wish you a very, very pleasant day. See you guys. Bye bye.